are the Philadelphia Navy Yard. Look over here. This is the battleship New Jersey. It's in Philadelphia. And this is, I believe it's the most decorated ship in the United States Navy history. And it's usually docked in New Jersey, in Camden. And it's been in Philadelphia for, I don't know, maybe a month or two, getting cleaned up. Uh, but uh, anyway, it's going to be going back to New Jersey very soon. And I wanted to get some shots of it in Philadelphia, but you can't really get close to it. It's being cleaned up here at the Philadelphia Ship Repair Center. Look at that. The ship is dry docked right here and they're giving everything a fresh coat of paint and it was a real big news story when the ship moved here a few months ago and uh, you can actually watch video of them dry docking the battleship New Jersey. So this ship was launched one year after the attack of Pearl Harbor. So the Battleship New Jersey was launched on the first anniversary of Pearl Harbor and steamed more miles, fought in more battles, and fired more shells in combat than any other battleship in history. Not American history, history. See some of the guns. And over there is a little, there's a helicopter parked on it. I think they are doing some tours while it's dry docked here in Philadelphia. It's a little bit more expensive to do it here in Philly than it is in New Jersey. So the ship was used in World War II, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, the Cold War, and even uh, the Persian Gulf War. All right, and there's the... Uh uh, that's about as good as a shot as I can get of the battleship New Jersey. Number 62! Says right there. Yes, I am climbing on the dumpster to get you the shot. So please, hit the like button. Unfortunately, I think this is going to be the last scooter video with the Segway 9Bot ES22. The, uh, the alignment. I, I, uh... I had a bad, well, not a bad fall. I had a fall the other day. And, uh, I, I, I screwed up the, uh, the, yeah, see how this, it's not supposed to do that. So it's not really the safest thing to drive. So I think we might just do, oh, the, yeah, see the alignment. So this will probably, yeah, this will definitely be the last time. I ride this. I tried to tighten up the screws today, and I guess it's... Or maybe I could just replace the screws, and that will fix it. Who knows? But uh, there's also another ship in the Navy Yard that's leaving real soon. It's kind of... It definitely has, like, a weird feel in here, because, like, this building right here looks modern and new. It's the Ship Systems Engineering Facility. But this building over here... kind of run down, abandoned. This is an aircraft carrier named the USS JFK. This ship was decommissioned in 2007 and has been sitting here for a while. And one of the viewers told me in the comments that the Navy sold this ship to someone for a penny. One penny. And uh, it's going to be leaving the Philadelphia Navy Yard within a year or so. This ship was christened on the 27th of May in 1967 by Jackie Kennedy and her daughter Caroline. When two days short of what would have been JFK's uh, 50th birthday. Back in the 80s, there was a TV show called Supercarrier. 
and that TV show was filmed on the USS JFK. If you look right there, there's a cool logo with two anchors and wings. That'd make a neat little tattoo. These little buildings off the side, uh, right near, right near these battleships, and there's these little these doors are unlocked. And you can see they're all all these buildings are flooded. Oh, that's the Spearhead, the U.S. Naval Ship Spearhead. Yeah, I don't, I don't really feel comfortable doing one-hand scooting anymore. Yeah, the Navy Yard isn't uh, like a real active Navy Yard. They, they have a few ships docked here, but uh, there's a lot of businesses here. There's um, Urban Outfitters. Their headquarters is in the Navy Yard. Um, they got. I think this is the Knicks right here. This is a great sandwich shop. If you ever go into a Phillies game, try this place out. I think it's more of a breakfast spot than it is a... Uh... Yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to have to wrap this scooter ride up a little earlier than I want to because it's the, the the alignment look at that the handlebar is at 45 degrees <laughs> and i'm going straight there's another this is an old building and uh when i when i do these scooter rides i do them with uh one hand holding the camera while one hand steers and holds the, the gas the throttle not really the safest way to do things I used to do it, I used to have the camera strapped on to a, a school bag. And then uh, one day I, I didn't bring my school bag. And I started doing the scoots one-handed. And I, I just enjoyed the camera work better. So you guys could see what I'm, you know, I could point at what I want you guys to see. Yeah. You know? I am the Philly no, captain. Just, we're just talking about here, man. Hopefully you were saying good things. Yeah, oh boy. Here, here we are. Here we are. Here right. we are. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. Hey. Thank you, Segway Nine by ES22 Scooter. <laughs>